Hi parents, this is Ritu again and today I have a very interesting conversation uh, which happened a couple of days uh, in a group and I realized that respect is one of the things which is a very key in situations for a teen or a tween and um, getting a respect is a, is a right of everyone. We do have a couple of videos regarding that but the respect that I'm talking about is um, the tonacity of you and the differentiation of your tone when you're talking to your kids and when you're talking usually to your friends and family and you're lively and you know happy happy i know we cannot be in the same mood all the time but our kids do observe it and keep that in their head that i am not enough respected by my parents because of whatever reason they don't talk to me the way they talk to rest of the family or rest of the people around them and that's become a big part of a debate um, when when we had a conversations in a group but what I felt in is that it is a good idea to communicate freely and frankly to your kids but the frankness will be decided by the relationship extent and the consistency of it frankness Make, make will not come immediately the frankness will come if you spend or do an activity every day uh, whether it's starting from checking the doors to eating food together or um, watching a phone same time or something like that where you are partnering every single day to develop that bond with each other now in those scenarios when you are partnering with your kids in this format respect is very crucial like the way you are communicating to your kids not only decide the environment for the family but also their behavior in a social gathering or social setup so i've seen a couple of parents trying to um, tell their kids to be behaved all the time um but again, as I said, that if it is not something that's a regular reminder or there are some standards set up followed by the whole family, it is really hard to give them a brief of it. And and of course, it's like uh, does respect does not mean that you have to like um, respect is simply greeting. Respect is some simply when someone is talking, you don't have to interrupt. I'm not talking about the toddlers. I'm not. We are just in in range of a teens and tweens, and um, this is this is the place where where they need and they do not interrupt. In most of the cases I've seen, they are they are enough mature to understand that. What if we started applying them on little kids and it it start working like that? You don't have to be over lovable because that's for something in your private space. In social setup, we just have to be us. And and that us, because if there is a very big gap between the emotions, expressions in a personal setup and a social setup, it's going to be a really big mess for our kids to understand what's the right and the wrong behavior. And then they grasp the behavior which they feel is correct in their setup and in their mindset. So that really brings out a different vision and a perception again it is a bit of like a observations or a subconscious process which we are talking about and discussing about but these addresses are really different to set up as a reminder and also the behavior between the spouses do make a difference in the family if you do not respect your spouse while communicating definitely the kids is, kids are going to follow you or whosoever is a dominating parent and that leads to the another level of a conflict uh, temperament and holding back the temperament and explaining them miscommunications happens we do have a loud voices we do have arguments but how the resolutions of those arguments are taking place that's really designed the whole course of a respect subconsciously uh, because emotions are something if if you made a big mess and you're not accepting and you are just humiliating each other in front of the kids outcome is not very promising we all know that it's a basic it's a basic attitude it's a basic knowledge and slowly slowly either they grasp it they start escaping it or if you don't address them properly if you don't mark it properly mishap can happen with 
any one of us in the world but we need to make sure our actions after that we had a communications with the kids in reason you need to mention whether it's a right behavior or incorrect behaviors and must not be repeated and that it's not like you need to give them regular reminders of it you just have to say one time and then they know where they are this is not right so that thing has sit in their brain that whatever has happened is not right so they will try to figure out the another cause of it and they will try to work on it indifferently i'm pretty sure so so we need to work on the respect part in terms of the communications between each other as well it doesn't work one way or it doesn't work like that simple um i hope this video you find it helpful and thanks for liking it and wish you a very happy parenting bye